So num point one says uh, determine f prime x uh, from first principles if it is given that um, f of x is equals to two x squared um, minus three x. Uh, what you can do uh, when you have a question like this, you can do it using the power rule first, right? Um, so if I do that, I get uh, f prime x is equals to four uh, x uh, minus three. So in a way, uh, when you use the first principles, uh, you already know um, what the answer is supposed to be. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna have f uh, prime x is equals to uh, the limit as h turn into zero of f x plus h uh, minus f uh, of x divided by h uh, which is equals to the limit as h turn into zero so f x f of x plus h every, everywhere where there is x we're going to put x plus h right so we're going to have um so we're going to have two and then in place of x we put x plus h uh, squared right uh, minus three in place of x we put x uh, plus h and then we can close that bracket and then we subtract f of x right f of x uh that's 2x squared uh, minus 3x and then we can divide everything by h so we have the limit as h turning to zero so now we're supposed to to square x plus h right so we're gonna have uh, 2 multiplied by um, x multiplied by x is x squared x multiplied by h that's x h multiplied by 2 is plus 2 x h and then h multiplied by h that is just h squared um, minus minus 3 x uh, minus uh, 3 h and then we subtract uh, f of x from everything so we're gonna have 2 x squared minus 3x and then we divide everything by h right so it goes to the limit as h turn into zero so now we have uh we multiply in uh this expression here uh, by 2 right so we're gonna have 2x 2x squared uh plus 4 x h plus 2 h squared uh, minus 3 x minus 3 h and then let's multiply out uh, that uh, this bracket here uh, by minus right so we're gonna have minus 2 x squared plus 3 x uh, divided by h at this step every time that doesn't have an h is supposed to fall apart so if after this step you still have a term that has x uh, and then it doesn't disappear then you have done something wrong so this 2x squared is going to be uh, neutralized by this 2x squared and then minus 3x we're going to add 3x and then it's going to be gone and then now we're just left with terms that have h so we're going to have uh, the limit as h turn into zero of 4x h plus 2h squared uh, minus 3h uh, divided by h um, now we can take h as a common factor we're going to have the limit as h turn into zero h uh, 4x plus 2h minus 3 uh, divided by h h and h they cancel out uh, now we have the limit as h turn into uh, zero of 4x plus 2h minus 3 
h is turning to zero so we're just going to have uh 4x minus 3 uh, which is uh the same as when we use the power rule so what we have done here is correct so let's move ahead 9.2 9.2.1 says determine dy dx uh, if uh, y equals to 4x to the 5 minus 6x to the 4 plus 3x uh, this is quite an easy one uh, because we're just going to use the power rule so what does the power rule say the power rule says that if we have x okay if g of x equals to uh let's say k x to the power of n then the derivative of g of x is equals to n multiplied by k uh multiplied by x to the power n minus one right so now uh, dy dx uh, is gonna be uh, 5 multiplied by 4 uh, multiplied by x to the power 5 minus 1 and then minus 4 multiplied by 6 multiplied by x to the power 4 minus 1 uh, plus 3 uh, no plus 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by x uh, to the power 1 minus 1 so this is going to give us uh, 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 multiplied by x so that is uh, 20x to the power 4 uh, 4 multiplied by 6 that is 4 or uh, that is 6 um, 12 24 so that is minus 24x uh, to the power 3 uh, 3 multiplied by 1 that's 3 and then uh, any number to the power 0 is 1 so this is just going to be uh, plus 3 so it's easy as that uh, we have solved our problem uh, now let's move to 9.2.2 we have the derivative of uh, dx of uh, minus 3 uh, there and then okay let me just copy that down real quick um okay uh, divided by 3x to the power 2 so there we have that expression there right so uh there's a square there uh one divided by 3x is being squared so um that's something to note we're gonna take care of that so okay we're gonna uh, take out that cube root there so we're gonna have uh minus x to the power 1 divided by 3 uh, divided by 2 and then plus uh, 1 squared divided by 3x squared right 3x squared is going to be 9x squared so um there isn't much left to do here on this term we're just gonna derivate it but then this term uh, we still have to write it in the standard format so that we can use the power rule, right? So we have um, minus 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the power uh, 1 over 3 uh, plus. Uh, now the x is on the denominator, right? If we put it on the numerator, then uh, the exponent uh, changes sign, right? So now we're going to have uh, 1 divided by 9 instead of x as the denominator is coming to the numerator so we're going to have uh, x to the power minus 2 right instead of 2 uh, so if you derivate this we're going to have uh, 1 over 3 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 x to the power 1 divided by 3 minus 1 uh, plus um, minus 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 9 x to the power minus 2 minus 1 uh, this is equals to uh, 1 uh, by multiply by 1 by minus 1 that's just minus 1 uh, 3 multiplied by 2 that is just 6 x and then 1 over 3 
uh, minus 1 that's uh, minus 2 over 3 so we're gonna have minus 2 over 3 um, and then we have minus 2 divided by 9 x to the power uh, minus 3 right yeah now uh, we have derivated our our equation but then we cannot leave it with a negative exponents because that's not how we found it now we have to take it back and doing that we had uh, minus 1 uh, divided by 6 multiplied by x it had a negative sign now the sign becomes positive right 2 divided by 3 minus 2 divided by 9 x uh, instead of minus 3 now it's just 3 right and then this is our uh, d of x